Hello, everyone. My name is Ashish Kirtikar, and today we are here for the webinar Data Protection by Design the Multi Cert Way. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Uh, this session will go on for 45 minutes. That will be the webinar, post which we will have ample time for a few questions. Please put the questions in the questions window. Any audio or visual issues, please type them into the chat window and our moderators will address them. We will try to get to all the questions, but if we don't, we will follow up by email after the session today. The slides and the recording of this webinar will be sent to everyone on this call early next week. Please visit our website at www.controlcase.com for other webinar on other regulations. Let me start off with a quick introduction about myself, Ashish Kirtikar. I am the president for Europe and UK region. I have been in the industry for around 15 years now, out of which I've worked with control case around 11 years, performing audits, consulting, and now handling the business sales and execution of business for the Europe and UK regions. Now let's move on to the webinar. Let me start off with the agenda for today's session. I will be starting off with a quick introduction of control case. I know that most of you are aware of control case, but this is for the uninitiated. Then we will come to the topic of today, data protection by design, where I will unfold the concepts of data protection by design for you. Post which we will talk of the multi cert route to data protection, where we talk of how to do it the multi cert way and its benefits. But as we know, every coin has two sides. So after the benefits, I will talk of the common challenges that come across the multi cert approach or the multi cert way. Then to conclude, I will introduce you to the unique one audit approach of control case, which helps overcome these challenges and implement and maintain the multi cert way of data protection. So to the quick introduction of control case, control case as a company started off in 2004 and has been in business of information security and privacy related compliances and services from the start. We are a global company headquartered out of US with delivery and sales centers in India, Canada, United Kingdom, Vietnam, Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, Tunisia, etc. We have more than 275 security experts across our global locations and have worked with more than 1000 clients across the globe and across industries. Organizations of all sizes rely on control cases, certification and continuous compliance services to dramatically cut the time, cost and burden out of IT compliance. Unlike traditional consulting firms, we bring a partnership approach versus an auditor mentality to every engagement. We go beyond the checklist and provide the expertise, guidance and automation needed to more efficiently and cost effectively demonstrate and maintain compliance. Control case uses technology and automation in its approach for certifications, assessments, and continuous compliance to reduce redundancy, time, and effort, providing the most efficient delivery experience for their customers. Whether you are looking to satisfy regulatory requirements, meet customer demand, or establish confidence with prospective customers, with Control Case as your compliance partner, your workforce will be free to focus on their strategic priorities and you will eliminate the hassle and reduce the stress associated with certification and continuous compliance. Moving on to one audit. One audit is control cases unique methodology designed for today's multi cert and multi regulation environment. With the use of technology and control cases subject matter expertise. Our philosophy behind one audit is assess once, comply to many. 
but I will cover this in detail during the course of this webinar. Now let's move to the topic of the day, data protection by design. Data is the new oil. I think this statement has now become the most repeated phrases in current time. But however cliched it is, it is true. In today's world, data and related analytics is what is ruling the roost. Be it artificial intelligence, machine learning, consumer behavior, analytics, etc. Data is most sought after asset. This power that data yields makes it an important asset which needs to be protected and thus data protection comes into picture. In early days, implementing some privacy controls or policies was considered protecting the data. Or on the other hand, securing the infrastructure for the data with technical security controls was considered the best way for data protection. So everyone was looking at isolated options or con controls, considering them as protecting the data. But was that enough? Evidently not. As the industry evolved, incidents were registered. It was understood that an integrated approach should be considered for holistic data protection outlook. So the industry moved towards synchronizing the implementations of privacy and security controls, complementing each other and getting a robust data protection framework. Thus, in today's world, data protection is equal to privacy plus security. So now we know what is data protection, but what is data protection by design? By definition, data protection by design is an approach that ensures data protection requirements are considered at the design phase of any system, service, product, or process, and then throughout the life cycle. Let me give you an example. Let us consider you are introducing a new application or software in your environment. Formerly, a software development or implementation would consider only basic stages like business requirements, design with software architecture, data flow, bandwidth requirements, access lists or technical connectivity, development, staging or UAT, production, and then finally release management. But now we see a few new stages which are included. As an example of the new life cycle, these are the following stages business requirements design with software architecture design with security implement implications requirements and the related secure software architecture design with privacy implications requirements and related software architecture bandwidth requirements access lists or technical connectivity secure software development, secure code review, software or application security testing, staging UAT, secure production or release management, followed by annual application tests, annual code reviews, secure change management, and the life cycle continues. So if you notice, these additional steps include the review and consideration of security and privacy implications and requirements. Followed by designing and implementing a secure architecture, development, deployment, and maintenance mechanism. This consideration of security and privacy requirements from the designing to the deployment and further down the life cycle as a part of continuous compliance is what we meant by the definition of data protection by design. In this approach, we are being proactive instead of reactive to the security and privacy related points. 
when done and on an organizational level this helps CISOs or infosec leaders develop effective strategy that means they are able to identify that any project would require detective controls or preventive controls or deterrent controls and they can mix and match these different types of controls across multiple projects products or processes and together put across a holistic information security and privacy framework for the organization which basically is what we call as the data protection by design approach for the framework as a matter of fact ico uk recommends this approach for effective data privacy regulation or the gdpr implementation now that we have understood data protection by design let's move to how effectively we can achieve it with the multi-cert way considering the regulations and certifications in the market multi-cert or multi-regulation is the way ahead for all organizations in europe and uk i see a lot of regulations certifications required to comply based on respective industries like nis pci dss soc 2 cyber essentials and the all encompassing gdpr each certification has its own unique requirements depending on the data or information subjected to protection but as all are around privacy and security there are a lot of overlaps across the certifications or regulations thus i feel that a multi-cert approach is like a tongue and groove joint meaning if a certain certification or regulation lacks some controls which becomes the groove it is filled up by the other certification which covers those controls thus becoming the tongue and making it a complete tongue and groove joint this approach can help organizations achieve defense in depth which means providing defense against attacks against all layers which are present for example the perimeter layer which is the external physical layer with physical security the network layer with perimeter network security then coming into the system layer the database layer the end user layer the data data point layer where we have the actual data security or data privacy that means from outside to inside each and every stage we have some controls for security and privacy which ensures that a detailed defense is provided at every level providing what we call as the defense in depth methodology and when we achieve effective defense in depth that can very effectively translate to data protection at every layer be it physical logical network systems file or data all throughout So let, for an, let us take an example of these four standards that we see here. Now, this includes PCI DSS, GDPR, ISO 27001, and SOC 2, out of which we all know that ISO 27001 is a framework, which is a prescribed certification Whereas SOC 2 is an attestation, which is not a very prescriptive uh, requirement in its approach. GDPR is a law which defines rules and regulations for maintaining data privacy of personally identifiable information. And PCI DSS is a technical security standard used to protect credit card or debit card data. When we implement ISO 27001 across all systems, the, the biggest benefit that we get is that we get a uniformity of security implementation across the network, across the organization. 
which can be supported by principles based approach of SOC 2. Similarly, when we look at PCI DSS, it has a very technical outlook or technical approach when we look at all the controls in PCI DSS. And it is very specific to protecting card data. But on the other hand, when we look at GDPR, though GDPR identifies a lot of uh, requirements to protect the data or the PII data, it does not very specifically identify what kind of technical controls can be implemented to achieve that protection. Thus, utilizing the controls of PCI DSS for the GDPR related data can work in benefit of protecting the GDPR data with the intent of GDPR and the technical security of PCI DSS. Thus, you can see here that all these multiple certifications, when they are put together, they are giving you a holistic view or a holistic approach to data protection, wherein the, the, the problems with one specific uh, certification, the issues with one specific certification can be handled by controls in other certification or other regulation. So when we look at it holistically, we understand that each certification or regulation in isolation would achieve a subset of the data protection. But when we put them together, they will ensure that data protection, meaning privacy plus security is achieved. All the regulation mentioned in the earlier side, slide have very important parameters which talks of security or privacy as a part of the organizational life cycle. This, when implemented in an integrated manner, helps achieve data protection by design. And most importantly, as all these certifications have their continuous compliance requirements, to maintain their compliance to the certification, the continuous maintenance of data protection throughout the life cycle as required by data protection by design is efficiently and effectively achieved. These are some of the common regulations by region or industry. So when I talk of region, I am very specifically talking about UK and Europe region where I focus quite a bit. And I've seen that in, let's say the BPO industry, some of the regulations which are very important include, of course, the GDPR, PCI DSS, SOC 2, ISO 27001, Cyber Essentials, majorly for the UK. Uh, for the payments industry, we have GDPR, PCI DSS, SOC 2, ISO 27001, Cyber Essentials. For financial services, we have GDPR, PCI DSS, PSD2, EBA guidelines, ISO 27001, Cyber Essentials UK. For critical infrastructure, we have GDPR, NIS1, NIS2, ISO 27001, Cyber Essentials Plus, etc. So you can see that across industry, we are able to see that we, we do have a multi-regulation environment already. All the industries have to address and adhere to multiple regulations to ensure that they are maintaining compliance and maintaining implementations of certain specific security and privacy standards as required by the industry or as required by governments or regulatory bodies. Now that we have talked about the benefits, let's talk about challenges. On the screen, you see some of the most common challenges when it comes to multi-cert approach. We in control case summarize all these challenges into what we call as audit fatigue. You all would have undergone this where you are done with one, one audit and 
another one springs up you have collected the same data you have to collect the same evidences and share it again and again for every assessment or audit this impacts your productivity as you have to take time out of production activities this impacts your budget for compliances as every individual assessment costs separately and in in totality it costs more and more the audits more the people required to support causing increase in resource cost so audit fatigue is equal to time spent unnecessarily plus redundancy plus money spent plus efforts spent and here is control cases answer to this audit fatigue one audit so in one audit what control case has achieved is with our unique compliance hub portal and our dashboard what we have done is put together a questionnaire for each and every known industry accepted certification this questionnaire basically is plain simple english translation or or transliteration of the controls in respective standards for example pci dss which has around 280 plus controls we have reduced it down to a questionnaire of 95 questions similarly for other standards like iso 27001 soc 2 or privacy regulations like gdpr ccpa we have created similar questionnaires now these questionnaires have given us a very unique superpower this questionnaire has allowed us to map common controls or common questions across all multiple certification now for example you work with us as this example says here on screen that you work with us for pci and you are certified to pci so once all your pci evidences are collected they are automatically in our control case compliance hub mapped to all the other certification questionnaires which we have existing in our system this will allow that all the other certification which are which have the common controls they will already be marked as compliant so when you decide to go for some other certifications or in parallel you are working with one or two certification let's say you are working in parallel with pci dss and iso 27001 or pci dss and s and hipaa once you have all the pci evidences that means that for a iso you have already achieved 67% of compliance because if it is the scope is the same then the evidences collected for pci have already been collected for iso 27001 or for example for a soc 2 if it is the same evidences then around 49.1% evidences have been collected for soc 2 so all you need to do is focus on the additional delta evidences which are specific to soc 2 which requires lesser effort because you have already collected all the common evidences so you don't need to go through the cycle of collecting the same evidences again for soc 2 or same evidence is again for iso 27001 or any other certification which we have listed in our uh, uh, system the uh, important point to note with control case which i had mentioned during the introduction is that control case uses a lot of technology to ensure this one audit approach is very effective and uh it saves a lot of time so one of the things that we do is utilization of our ace tool ace is automated compliance engine this 
can collect evidences such as configurations or technical evidences remotely at a click of a button and they are automatically these evidences will be populated against respective questions in the questionnaire for multiple certifications so once they are placed for for us uh, against a specific question they will be applicable for all the regulations for which the question is applicable thus once you, you uh, once you run the h tool once and you have collected a set of evidences you already see your compliance level for those questions across multiple certification similarly we have the data discovery solution or the control case data discovery solution called as cdd this can scan end user workstations systems databases for card data for pii data and we are able to scan across all readable files databases voiced files image files etc from one single location remotely from one location we we can run the scans across all the systems in your environment thus when you look at the total effort put in for the compliance and certification in terms of time you can see for a normal assessment or audit earlier before we came up with this wonderful unique methodology we also used to do a lot of manual efforts and everything and based on our experience we can say that a total of 2200 hours in time was spent on compliance and certification using any other auditor with the manual methodologies and manual approach and manual evidence collection and multi certifications multiple certifications again and again so almost 2200 hours are spent as compared to that with our unique one audit approach with the use of our technology the ace tool the cdd tool and everything we are able to reduce that time down to only 950 hours which is around 350 hours of evidence collection 600 hours of certification support that means writing the report and everything creating certifications etc so this we have done a study based on one environment with four parallel certifications that is pci iso soc 2 and hipaa which might be uh, very similar to a pci iso soc 2 and gdpr approach as well so the three key areas of focus for control case as a solution is that control case is continuous we focus on continuous compliance we we always believe that the first time certification is just the start of a journey and then onwards every recertification is like a milestone so we we are on a continuous journey when it comes to compliance and control case ensures that continuous compliance is maintained as a part of the one audit security program that we provide the second is we look at automation very specifically with our tools like ACDD with our our questionnaire and we look at a very very integrated approach that ensures that multiple compliance programs different compliances can be mapped together for their overlapping controls and can uh, and can be individually handled for their delta controls and together integrated approach can be taken to achieve compliance to maintain data protection and to maintain that compliance uh, all throughout the life cycle of the organization so to summarize why control case control case as i mentioned we are we focus at a partnership approach we are very proactive with specific subject matter expertise. We have a very responsible support and 
we uh, we always try and come up with new innovative ideas to streamline and improve compliance we have the right mix of size and responsiveness like which means we are big enough to support integrated compliance services but agile enough to deliver responsive client care and support we are very automation driven with our control case compliance hub or as cdd and all the tools that we are we are very automation driven we have automated evidence collection we have a real time certification dashboard we have a ai powered predictive compliance which goes beyond monitoring and basic alerting we have a grc platform integration then the most important point is continuous compliance maintaining the compliance one of the most key aspects of data protection by design is to maintain the data protection throughout the life cycle of a product project process or service and that is where the continuous compliance comes into picture so when we follow continual compliance we maintain the compliance we maintain all the requirements we maintain the implementations we maintain the security controls we maintain the privacy controls and we help monitor this maintenance of privacy and security controls with our continuous compliance services that is why control case is the best to consider for data protection by design in a multi cert way this concludes the presentation now at this point i will read and answer a couple of the questions that have come in the questions window for the remainder of the questions i will make sure that our team reaches out to you with the answers to any questions that we were not able to get through all right um let's see questions all right here it is we have the first question it says is it necessary for one audit certifications to run in parallel for all the certifications thank you so much for this question a very very valid question a very very pertinent question if i may say so i would say that it is recommended that you do the certifications in parallel the reason for that is that as when you do it in parallel the common controls are quickly and automatically handled so when we are running in parallel the assessor also tries to be very focused on the approach that which of the certifications is the superset and that is where the evidence collection focus first remains that ensures that all the subset certifications which act as subsets they those certifications evidences are also covered and then what remains is the deltas across multiple certifications that you are running in parallel that becomes a rather easy task to do and which reduces the time because maximum evidences have already been co collected as a part of the superset certification however as long as the scope remains the same even if you decide to do like a phase wise certification we can always reutilize the evidences from the certifications which we have already achieved and are the common questions but in these situations where where there might be a possibility that evidences become time barred like for example you have a logging monitoring evidence right so a log evidence we cannot reutilize the log evidence after 6 months we have to have fresh evidences but at least you know that you are already compliant on that question you just need to get the fresh log or the fresh evidence for that thus that also reduces a lot of time reduces a lot of apprehension about any specific certification because you already know that you are compliant on those questions which you have already addressed for some other certification so uh, to summarize it is not necessary for one audit certifications to run everything in parallel but it is definitely recommended because that will give you the best outcome the best 
uh, and it would it can be considered as the best approach uh, for the certification and for achieving data protection by design in a holistic manner um i do have some more time let me see if we have few more questions okay here comes one uh, is data protection by design a mandatory approach uh, i would not say that uh, i would not say that it is a mandatory approach however based on our interactions uh, with a lot of our customers or interactions with a lot of people across the industry we see that data protection by the by design is now becoming a very very recommended approach and is becoming a a very sought after approach for effective implementation of privacy and security controls because data protection as i said during the webinar data protection is equal to privacy and security and that is what is the most important thing right we have certain privacy controls we have certain privacy requirements we have certain privacy policies then we have certain security controls security policies and security re related implementations when we put both of them these together we get a very very robust protection environment or a protection framework which can address multiple issues multiple vulnerabilities multiple threat vectors can be addressed by such a kind of integrated approach and that is why data protection by design is becoming the most sought after approach across the industry and this is what we see but i would not say that uh, it has been put across as a mandatory approach by anyone at least in my knowledge i have not come across it as being put across as a mandatory requirement by anyone i will address one more question uh, and for rest of the questions i i will be replying them over email um this question here is does the scope have to be common for all certifications for one audit now when we say scope has to be common now let's take for example if you have a, a if you choose a one audit for pci dss and iso 27001 a pci dss always is, has a limited scope for uh, the card data based environment and supporting systems and survey but iso 27001 has a more uh, organization wide approach right most in most of the cases iso 27001 is more organization wide so in this case you can definitely utilize because if the pci is going to be a pci scope is going to be a subset of iso then definitely you can utilize one audit because when you do the iso the iso evidences or the iso controls which are common across pci the evidences for them can always be reutilized for pci so iso will be the superset and pci can be the subset in this uh, scenario and that way you can definitely work but if it is for two completely separate environments like you have completely separate isolated environment for x certification and isolated environment for y certification then then the one audit approach will not work very effectively then in that case uh, you know if if you are looking at doing certifications for two different completely isolated setups and scopes then that will not work very effectively for from the one audit perspective all right ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for your time that's all we have today for our webinar hopefully you found this webinar helpful i have uh, a few more questions that we will address in email as we are about out of time the slides and the recording of this webinar will be sent to everyone on this call early next week please feel free to visit our website at www 
www.controlcase.com for other webinar on other regulations. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate the time you have taken today to join us. Have a great day and until the next webinar, goodbye.